got, got a nice one here. Strong one. Oh! Now, I know what you guys are thinking. What am I using for bait? Well, I got a 10 weight fly rod, heavy. You want to be able to pull those big fish out of the water. They're living in the ocean their whole lives. Uh, nice fly reel. But uh, something to jump. There's some fish coming in. Monofilament all the way through. That's all you need 35 pound monofilament. No fly line, no backing, just straight monofilament. We got some weights here. Lead. I got about four of them. They slide around. That's okay. See, the bottom one here, this is the trick, aluminum. Once you crimp it down, it's not going to move. So you want some aluminum weights. They don't weigh very much, but they keep all the lead in check there. So I got four of them here. One, two, three, five, including the uh, aluminum. And then the leader is about as long as the fishing rod. And uh, at the end, sharp hook. I think this one's a number six. And I got a little rubber bead on there, rubber fish egg it's called. All this is for is to help the hook float in the water. And then you're flossing. And you're trying to get this hook through the fish's mouth. And you'll feel that. You'll feel it on there. It'll feel like you hit a log or something. You set the hook. And sometimes you do catch a log. That's just, you get used to knowing the differences. And then you bring that fish in, and that's what the heavy line's for, because some of these fish like to fight. You want to cast about 10 o'clock and leave the sinker. Just lead it while you're drifting it. You'll feel it bouncing along the bottom. That's good. Bring in any slack you got so you can... And then you, you put a little pressure, set the hook right at the end. You don't want to set the hook too hard at the end because you don't want to snag the fish. That's against the rules. But we're just bouncing along the bottom and then you come to the end of the drift do a strong pull and just like that and you're flossing and in the cast that was a bad cast in the cast you want to get the hook that was a good one to separate from the weight and have it float there you want as long a leader as possible because you're you're really trying to get this line to go into the fish's mouth here and so the line is all part of the bait if you can call it bait. It's more of a technique because they're not eating anything. We're just trying to get the hook in their mouth. Shit. That was a big one. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Get them out of the current. All right. <laughs> there it is. There it is. <sighs> Fuck, that's a, that a sockeye. The sockeyes fight really hard. Shit. Got him. Well, the trick is to just sit and watch. Wait for the fish to start jumping. When the fish are jumping, that means the school's coming by and that's when you fish, so. I mean, you could be out there swinging if you wanted to, but save some energy. Hang out, listen to some music, read a book, wait for the fish to jump. So for example, right now, nothing jumping. And so this is where the waiting and the patience comes into play. Fishing is a lot like a lot of other professions. There's nothing going on, nothing going on. Whoa, something just jumped here. Let's see if we can get it on camera. Nothing going on, and when there is action, when there is action when you're fishing, Happens all at once. You just gotta be always ready, always thinking one step ahead. Anything jumping? Listening, scanning, you're hunting. You want these fish. You have to think like the fish, you have to be the fish. You have to be in the water. When they're in the water, if they're not in the water, you're not gonna catch any. There we go. 
So once you get it hooked, you want to get it out of the current. Like this one's out of the current. There we go. Ooh, that's a good hook too. We gotta get it out of the water. There we go. Yeah, right into the net. You take it. Now you wanna bleed it out before you fillet it. This just makes it easier to, to clean. Cut right through the gills. There you go. All that blood's gonna come out and you just let that sit. Might be a, that might actually be a pink salmon. Spotted? No, it's probably just a male. It's probably just, uh... Hold on. Because this is definitely a sockeye here. Look at that hump on the back. This might be a pink. Woo! There it is. All right, we gotta point the rod to shore here. Oh yeah, that's a nice sockeye. You gotta get her out of the, the current. Grab my landing net. Reel in the slack. with one person. I'm getting tired. Here we go. Well guys, I hope you liked that video. I hope it was educational, and I hope that's gonna help you put more salmon in the freezer. Flossing is an interesting method, but once you get the hang of it, you'll bring in the sockeye. And this method, by the way, this is really good. This method will get you fish anywhere there's a big salmon run. Mm. Anyway, if you like that video, share, like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time.